and welcome to SL Productions and my review to Doctor Who Series 11 Episode 2 The Ghost Monument. Now this is the second story to feature the 13th Doctor and to be written by Chris Chibnall as showrunner of Doctor Who. But before I start this review I want to give a shout out to Drew Spicer. Fantastic Doctor Who videos on his channel as well as other fantastic videos. Please go and subscribe to him and yeah. Starting with this review, so what are my overall thoughts on this episode? So the scenery in this story was great, really did like the scenery. Also, really did like the CGI, thought the CGI was amazing in this story, a lot better than The Woman Who Fell to Earth. However, the plot seemed to be a bit bland, it could have had more development, it was very basic. And yeah, the guest stars, again, were really good in the story, even though there were only three of them. Still, very good guest stars and a lot of development for the Doctor Who regular cast. So, onto the plot of this episode. So the plot, in my opinion, was a bit underdeveloped. There wasn't a lot to the plot. It was quite basic. However, I did really like the concept of the plot. It was a very different type of plot for a Doctor Who episode. So basically, there's these two people who are racing to find this ghost monument to claim their prize of a life of luxury. They do rescue the Doctor and her companions at the beginning of this episode. They land on this planet and meet the director for this competition. He sends them off on this mission to find the ghost monument, which turns out to be the TARDIS, which is materialising, then dematerialising, so the Doctor obviously helps them on their mission. So yeah, they come across different traps throughout the episode, such as these weird cloth things, which really did remind me of Harry Potter, and in my opinion, I couldn't take them seriously, as it felt more like Harry Potter than Doctor Who. So yeah, that's a bit of a negative of this episode. However, I really did like the CGI in this episode. Really did like that scene with Ryan when he started shooting at these robots and then they started shooting back and it all backfired on him. Another metaphor in this episode, guns are bad. Last episode, knives were bad. This episode, guns were bad. So yeah, there's a theme in the series which is great that weapons are bad. So yeah, great theme in this series. And I also really did like the continuity in this episode. I thought they were gonna completely forget about, about the past Doctor Who stories. However, they didn't. There were several references back to the woman who fell to Earth, such as Tim Shaw, and it turned out his race destroyed this entire planet. They made it like how it was in this episode. So there was no life left on it. So yeah, Tim Shaw got a great reference. No mention of the salad guy. No mention of the eat my salad guy. Eat my salad. Halloween. So yeah, that's a disappointment. So yes, another negative of this episode. Also, CGI again, great. And the new opening titles. In my opinion, the new opening titles were pretty cool. I really did like them. However, the font on them, it was kind of hard to see. So I think they could improve on the font on the opening titles as the colours were a bit hard to see the font so yeah that's a negative and yeah on to the TARDIS the big part of this episode what did I think about the TARDIS so the exterior was great I really did like the TARDIS exterior however the interior I didn't like as much the reason for that is that I felt that it was a bit busy inside the TARDIS. It felt like too much was going in. It felt a bit too cramped, in my opinion. And yeah, it felt a bit too alive. It felt less like a machine and more like a living organism, which I didn't like. So yeah, it reminded me a bit of the 8th Doctor's TARDIS, which I didn't like. And yeah, I thought it could have been a bit more sci-fi rather than a bit more fantasy. So yeah, that is a negative about the TARDIS interior. Hopefully it will grow on me. So yeah, what are your opinions on this episode? Please let me know in the comments below and until the next time with my preview for episode 3, goodbye!